Hello, 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 and thanks so much. Oh, how do, how do, how do? Yes, today is our 51st Storytime Live with MKD and Mr. Davis on technology. Welcome, everyone, to our home. We're sending lots of love from our home to yours. And we hope that you like, and we hope that you share. And we get so many messages. I heard from Nora that she wore her MKD pins and her Maisie pin on her book bag for school. And Kai had such a fabulous birthday. Ah, oh, I saw the picture with the ponytail and the crown. Woo! Fabulous! All of that just makes me smile. Sing along. I know you've got to know the words, especially Angela. Wherever you may go, however near or far, just hold on to your dreams you reach for in the stars. Your dreams are yours alone, no matter what you'll be. There's one thing you can share. It's easy, can't you see? Ba -dum -bum -bum. Your gift is your smile to wear from ear to ear. Your gift is your smile. It's yours throughout the year. So when you see a sad or grumpy face, you know just what to do. Give your smile to others. It works for me and you. That's right. Giving your smile away is the best gift you can give today. It's free, and we see grumpy faces, don't we? Especially children of all ages, adults, sometimes forget to smile. Well, kids, you know we can make them smile with your charming personalities. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited for today. I'm excited for any day that is a story time day. You know, we do Wednesdays at 4 and Sundays at noon, and we're so glad that people all around the world are sharing, liking, and sending us messages. So, thank you. Now I have a question. Do you have hopes? Do you have dreams? I know I do. I think children of all ages do. And I hope you do, but sometimes, sometimes it takes looking at others of who they are or what they're doing to inspire or to discover what our hopes and dreams are and to discover that the truth is you can dream and be whatever you imagine. Now, sometimes things in life seem like they get in the way of our hopes and our dreams. But I'm here to remind you that you have a beautiful light that the world is waiting to see shine. Now, today's book is so much fun. I really loved it. And, of course, we have to say thank you to our daughter, Melissa, children's librarian, who picks these fabulous books. Here it is today. Parker looks up an extraordinary moment. Extraordinary means fabulous! Here we go. Parker Curry loved to dance. Dressed in her favorite tutu, she imagined she was a dancing queen. Oh, look at that beautiful tutu. I had a 4-4 when I was younger. But one rainy Tuesday, instead of going to dance class, Parker's mom said, let's go to the museum. Ava, too? Parker loved visiting the museum almost as much as she loved twirling and leaping in the air. She pulled on her boots. Mom and Sister Ava buttoned up their jackets. Have fun, girls. Bye, Dad. And off they went. What a surprise to the museum. Splashing and smiling and it was raining, so it was splashy. 
Surprise! Gia, Parker's best friend, greeted them from the top of the museum steps. Yay! It's Gia! Wow, that's a good surprise. Once inside, the friends hurried down a long hall, looking at all the paintings around them. Oh, museums are so special that way. They have so many interesting things on display, you just don't know where to look next. They saw prancing horses, blooming flowers. Wow. A bushy mustache and a shiny jeweled necklace. Ooh, I love that necklace. Two peacocks with red eyes and a basket of slimy fish. Ew! <laughs> it looks like those fish are just jumping right out of the painting, right? And feathers. Lots and lots of brilliant feathers. Hurry up, Ava. There they go. When Gia spotted a playroom, she raced ahead. Parker charged after her. Let's make silly faces. After Gia stuck purple hair onto the easel and Parker added a pirate hat and glasses, it was time to go home. Time to go, girls! That's always fun. Sometimes museum, museums have interactive things that you can play and do. Skipping down the hall, the girls spied a row of frilly white tutus. Parker raised her arms. Gia spun around and around. Wait for me, Parker called, dancing after her until... See the tutus? What's going to happen? She froze in her tracks, spellbound. Parker Curry looked up. Something caught her attention, I think, don't you? A portrait of First Lady Michelle Obama loomed before her. She had rich brown skin, just like Parker, and kind, familiar eyes that reminded Parker of her mother, her grandmother, her sister, and yes, even herself. How could someone look so real and so magical all at the same time? Who is she? Parker's mother's voice filled the air, her words coming to rest squarely on Parker's tiny shoulders. She's a friend, a sister, mother, lawyer, writer, courageous, smart, caring, hero, inspirational, confident, dynamic, advocate, honest, volunteer, mentor, hopeful. And look at her beautiful eyes and ears just listening all about Michelle Obama. She is a queen. Parker whispered, unable to look away, unable to move. And in that moment, Parker saw more than just a portrait. She saw a road before her with endless possibilities. Look at all of those possibilities for Parker. Dancing and sports and music and science and learning and playing. She saw someone to look up to. Suddenly, Parker felt a small hand in hers, and the spell was broken. Come look, Ava, she said, putting her arm around her little sister and standing tall. For Parker Curry was feeling powerful and strong, and even though she hadn't moved, you see that? Beautiful queen. Inside, she was dancing. Oh, 
See that? The end. And look, there is a picture of her in real life wearing the same dress. How beautiful is that? Inspirational, courageous, and it just fills my heart with joy that she is looking to her and seeing her future is full of possibilities. That is wonderful. You know, she saw her hopes, she saw her dreams, she saw herself, and that's what I hope you see yourself and your potential. Oh, well, I know that you've got potential to laugh like me and you love our silly jokes. I know Mr. Davis does. Here we go, corny joke time, corny jokes. Why did the school kids eat their homework? Because the teacher said it was a piece of cake. <laughs> What's the best way to contact a fish? Drop them a line. Why aren't koalas actual bears? They don't meet qualifications. Oh, we love those jokes. And of course, I love to end our story time with some inspiration. If you look or sound different in any which way, I love and respect you every single day. I speak up for what's right and I help those in need. I follow my instincts. They're the path that I lead. I nurture my soul, my body, my mind. I don't need to be perfect. To myself, I'll be kind. If I need help, I will ask. That's the brave thing to do. And if I do something wrong, I'll say I'm sorry to you, too. I'll forever work hard, explore, learn, and play. I don't need to have it all sorted, but I'll do these each day. Loving thoughts, loving words, loving heart on this day. I am safe. I am loved. Life is great. Hip, hip. Hooray. Oh, my goodness. Will you have a wonderful Sunday? Share, like, and remember to smile.